I'm just a man who's stuck in consequence Waiting while the world just passes by But still I what's up everyone i hope everyone's keeping well welcome back to another euro fishing video where today we're going to be fishing with a bit of a twist i'm going to pick the top right hand corner swim now we're going to load up now today rather than going for the big carp and the big cats what i've decided to do is go for something a little bit smaller um the roach the tench and the bream now i'm hearing a lot of people telling me uh you can't you can't catch these fish they're not here um, and they're really struggling so hopefully today I'll be able to walk you through what I do when I'm going for these smaller fish now don't forget to give us a little thumbs up guys because that really does help us out it helps get the video up there and also if you're new around here and you like what you see why not subscribe right so on rod one I'm going to use the waggler which has got the 14 have I got 14 yeah so it's a size 14 hook that's what that is so um, I'm going to use that and I'm going to use it with the chopped worm that's going to be on rod one I'll probably be holding that rod quite a lot we will miss a lot of bites on that rod if I'm honest right so rod two I'm going to go with a size 12 uh, braided hair rig just a standard hair rig and I'm going to put that on sweet corn I think I think that'll be the one for that and rod three Yeah, for a three. We're going to go on a blowback rig. I'll tell you what I might do, actually. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put that one on sweet corn. And rod two, we're going to whack that on a worm. I think that could be the way forward. And then that leaves the bread and the maggot for rod one. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Right, so first things first, I know there's a silt, silt bed out there. Around about sort of 40 yards is where I want to be. So 30, 40, yeah, between 30 and 40 yards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, there you go, 35 yards. Nice silt, uh, silt bed. It's at 13 foot deep, so that would be perfect for what we want. Right, and then... Same with this rod. I'm going to put this rod next to rod two. You know my theories on this by now, guys. I like to keep the rods reasonably close. Here we go. I believe that fish spawn around one rod. So if you've got two, you get double the fish. Psychological, probably. But there you go. Right. So then rods are out. Right, let's have a look at rod one. This is the float rod. Now, I'm not very good at float fishing on this game, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, we're off straight away. Nice, good start. Let's bring that clutch down. Now, bearing in mind, a lot of people are telling me they're struggling to catch the roach and the bream and the tench. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully, we can uh, we can have a few. Hopefully, getting a net. Oh, look at that! First fish, a roach. What can I say, guys? That's a nice size roach. Got to be the best part of two pound at least. £2.11 ounces, nice roach, great start to the session. That was what we was after, so I'm happy with that. Let's get that one back. Oh, and the other rod's gone as well. Here we go. Now, for information purposes, on my float rod, I'm using £4 line. And on rod 2 and 3, I'm using £6 line. Oh, come on. In you come. There you go. Wow, first two casts, two fish. What can I say? We haven't even got the float rod out yet. And there it is, another little roach, probably about a pound, ten ounces. There you go, one pound, ten ounces. What can I say about that? <laughs> what a guess. <laughs> right, let's get this rod back out then. So again, we want to be between sort of 30 and 40 yards. So the sweet corn and the worm doing the trick. It's nice small hooks. Here we go, and rod two, we'll get that one back out as well. Same sort of distance, really. Oh, no, that's not going to be far enough. Let's try that again. Oh, bit overkill on the cast this time, wow. Looking forward to getting the float rod out on this game, to be honest. I've never used the float rod, so we'll be interesting to see where we're at with that. There we go. Right, let's get that float out. 
<clears throat> okay, time to get the float rod out. Now I'm going to fish the float rod very close. Like 15 yards maximum is where I'm going to be with it. There we go. Nice. Right, so it's still early in the morning. It's not even 7 o'clock yet. Let's see how we get on. So, first two casts was two roach. Which I am happy about. A lot of people have said they're struggling. And when you're after certain fish, um, there's nothing worse than struggling for them. So, let's see how we get on. Be nice if we pick a fish or two up off the float. Oh, rod two. Here we go. Yes, hooked into him. Nice, or her, whatever. Another small roach by the feels of it. Come on. Yes. Get in the net. Makes a change actually going for the smaller fish. I'm usually all about the big fish, but it's nice to get into some of the small fish. Nice roach. Two pound four ounces. I like it. I like it. Right. Let's get this one back out there. So it just goes to show you can bag up on these. Oh, we're in. Better quickly get that. Just let go of that other rod. Just dump it on the alarms. Here we go. Nice. So there you have it, guys. I mean, light line, small hooks seems to be the one. Oh, now this is where you might come unstuck. There we go. Got it. Nice. Getting a net. Look at that. They're getting smaller. <laughs> nice fish, though. Nice big bright eyes. Nice red fleck through the tail and sort of the fins. Very nice, one pound fourteen ounces. Looks like we could be bagging up on these babies all day long. Right, um, if I just put that slightly to the right of two, two's not in the correct place yet. We do know that. I'm just going to wind that to thirty-five. Put it on the buzzers, and this one I'm just going to wind in again to about thirty-five. There we go. And we'll pick rod one up again. Just going to lower that clutch. Because bearing in mind we've got much lighter line on as well guys. Now I've no doubt at some point we will pick up probably something a bit bigger. And we probably will lose it. But that's the trade off. When you're going for the smaller fish... Sometimes you're going to lose bigger fish. But I don't mind that, to be honest. You know, I can come on here and fish for the carp and the cats any time. I don't often go for smaller fish, so it is a nice change. I will say that. Just up that sort of clutch level. Keep an eye on that line tension, guys. Bearing in mind, we are using much lighter line. Like I said, on rod 2 and 3, I'm using a 6-pound line. And on rod 1, I'm on a 4-pound line. Which is almost suicidal. Oh, wow. Looks like a tench. Look like a nice tench, that. Yeah, look at that. Little fat tench. Lovely. Do like tench in real life as well. Stunning fish. Absolutely stunning. £7, 8 ounces. Not bad. We got that in quite easily, so no risk there. I reckon we can land sort of up to a £15, £20 fish. On that line. Right, let's do the same again. Let's get it out. I've not even put any spot out yet, guys. N just not had the chance. So, I want that about 35. That'll do. Right, let's uh, check rod one. Now, rod one, I'm starting to think, maybe go a little bit further. So, what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm going to take an experiment. We're going to go right out by rod two. Um... Now, the problem with the float is, obviously, it's fishing on the surface, so... Oh, look at that. Right over there. I'm not really going to be able to see this rod. Like the float. I've just got to rely on the symbol. But there you go. We'll keep it there. See how we get them. Keeping the line nice and tight, so when I lift the rod to strike, the line is tight. 
that's what we want and let's see how we get on with that so like I say guys rod one I've got a size 14 waggler on with pinkies which are maggots rod two I've got the braided hair rig size 12 with chopped worm and I've got a blowback rig size 12 with a small piece of sweet corn on just a single corn um, because I went for the, the small corn so I can use that on the float as well if I want to so we'll see how we get on with that let's see what happens I'm keeping hold of the float rod because obviously with the float rod you need to strike so let's see how we get on you don't get a lot of notice if I put this rod down it will bleep on the alarms but then it will come off pretty quickly I would say but let's see how we get on guys hopefully we can uh, pick something up on the float obviously with the float the depth set at 1.9 feet deep the problem is we're in 13 foot 5 of water so you know we're the best part of 11 foot short but we'll see what happens never say never and all that might get the spod rod out put a bit of spod out there Give it a nice whack out. Almost perfect. That'll do. Put some spot in the area. So if we can draw some of them small fish in. Yeah, I think we got a few small fish in the area by the looks of it. Which is what we want. Some nice roach. Be nice if we can pick up a boss roach or something. I think there's only one or two in here. Boss roach and tench. I think there's a couple of boss tench and a boss roach and a boss brain. I'm just going to literally blitz the area between the three rods with the spod. I'm not going to go crazy. Just. Uh, Especially over the float. I wonder if you can hit the float. Drop a bit of bait in just, just behind the float there. As you can see, when it comes up, it comes up sort of on the float. Oh, nice little fish there jumping on rod three. Nice to have showing fish on the area. Again, we'll just get this one out on rod three. There we go. Awesome. So we're getting some spot out. Cloud the water up a bit. Draw some of them smaller fish in with a bit of luck. There we go. Rod two. Let's get on that. Oh, and rod one. Oh, I've got rod two now, so see with rod one you don't get a lot of notice. It's it's on a float and it's boom, it's gone. Let's see what happens here. This feels like a nice fish this. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy, I'm not gonna rush it. Just take it nice and slow. Just enjoy the fishing, enjoy the water. I did put it on static conditions, but obviously it's not registered as static. Which actually someone did point out to me. Come on. Well, don't come off. Don't come off. Here we go. Right. Just sort of dunk the tip of the, the rod into the water then. See what we've got. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely tench. Very nice. Let's have a look at it. I think this was on the sweet corn. £8.5. Look at that. Monster tench. Very happy with that. That is awesome. I'm going to get that back out. Again, fishing at 35 yards. Little gravel bar over the back there, worth noting. Just keep that nice and close. So that little bit of spot did help us out a little bit. Just going to plonk this float just down here actually. 
let's see what we've got. I think what's missing is lily pads. I think we need lily pads, guys. Like on um on Digger Lakes. It's got a lovely set of lily pads. What was that next to me? Let's have a little go down here while them rods are out there. Like I say, don't forget we're hunting for small fish, so... Got to sort of try every possibility. Just bring it in a little bit closer to that, that rock. A little bit more. There we go. That'll do nicely. Very difficult to see that float. You can see the orange tip a bit now, but still very difficult to see. Put some spot out on the other two rods. We're not doing a lot right now, so we might need a change of swim. Oh, that was bang on, that spot. Oh, until the bounce back, obviously. We'll try that again. As soon as I put a bit of spot on it, it, it went. Oh, wow, what is going on here? I think that was my float rod that was uh, making all the noise there. We'll have to investigate that a little bit further. There we go. We've got it in. Very nice. Let's have a look what we've got. Look at that. Tiny little roach. Awesome though. All very welcome. One pound ten ounces. Mm, I doubt that very much. It looks tiny. But we'll get the rod back out. And we'll investigate that rod one. See what's going on with that. Perfect. Just let it settle. Awesome. Right. Let's have a look at rod one. See what's happening with that. So we did have a, a bite or something going on then. Oh, here we go. Rod two. Not sure what rod uh, one was doing now. Let's get this one in. See what we got. But three's going there as well. This feels like an half decent fish though. Bleeping away. Come on, in you come. Just taking it easy on that line strain. Don't want to snap off if we can help it. I know they can be a bit painful sometimes. I don't think I've actually caught a bream from this lake yet. I'm not sure. Another tench by the looks of it. I should have picked that other rod up really, but just wanted to have a look what we got. Look at that. That's a fat tench. That is awesome. £9.11 ounce tench. Lovely. Right, let's uh, get that other rod. Rod 3. Nine pound eleven ounce tench. Wow, that is awesome. Right, let's get this one in. So it just goes to show a little bit of spodding, a little bit of patience, small tackle. Oh, oh, what? You blind me! It's as mad as a box of frogs. This fish. Come on, in you get. Look here. Nice, right, it's in. Little roach by the looks of it. Not bad. It's got a bit of a belly on it, that one. Three pound two ounces, not bad at all. Well pleased with that. That's a monster roach. How is that not a boss fish? Wow. Right, let's get ourselves organised then. So rod three, we're going to get that back out. Same spot, 35 yards. Well, sort of thereabouts, doesn't have to be exact. Nice, there we go. And rod two, the same. 
So the worm and the sweet corn doing all right. I'm going to put that just next to the rod 3. Like so. Alright, rod 1. Now what I was going to do with this actually was um, have a look what bait would. So it's on the maggot. Let's put it on bread. Let's have a little bit of bread. And again, I just want to plonk this down here. Because I did, I'm sure we had a little take on this when I had to put the rod down. Oh. Hit the clip. I didn't even realise the clip was active. Oh, there you go. That'll do, though. We'll keep that there. Don't know why that clip activated. I must have pressed the button by accident. What? It didn't even come up as a fish, did it? That was crazy. Let's try that again. Big far away cast. Oh, look at that. I'm going to wind it right in near this rock. It seems to be doing all right there. Second bite we've had from there. Oh, rod three. Put a bit of pressure on it. Up that line tension a little bit. Okay, here we go. Nice. Came in nice and easy. Probably a little roach. Look at that. That is a little roach. <laughs> They're getting smaller. One pound ten ounces apparently. Not so sure about that. I think it might be a little bit smaller than that. Here we go. Let's fire this out. Again, same sort of distance, guys. 35 yards will do just nicely. On the silt. Lovely. Right, let's get that rod one. I don't know how it ended up over here, but it did. We're just going to plunk that down here if we can. I am part tempted to leave it over there, to be honest. Let's see what happens just over there. I'm just going to raise the rod slightly. That's it. Get a bit of slack line. Just sort of lay the line on the water as it was. So we're fishing at two foot deep and we're in four foot of water. I'm going to bring it in. I can't help but feel we need to be about there. We've had a couple of bites from there, so I'm I'm pretty confident we could get a fish from here. Oh, look like the float dipped down. Then it's hard to tell with the the little bit of the waves on the like the the wind, you know, causing the waves on the water. Quite difficult to tell. Let's see what happens. Come on. Give us a fish on the float. Would be nice if we could get one on the float. That would be pretty cool. And see, it's just where the sun sort of comes through the tree there as well, where that float is. So, should be decent. Oh, rod two. Here we go again. Nice. They seem to like that little uh, silt spot out there, if I'm honest. Come on. Yes, ready for the net. Nice little roach by the looks of it. Nice little roach. £1.12 ounces. It's getting back. <laughs> okay. going to stay at that same distance, I think. I think that is the one. Spot on. Right. 
Where was we with Rod 1? Oh, we've come somewhat closer, to say the least. Need to get that back out. Gonna try... A little bit further, not too far. There we go. That'll do nicely. Just sort of... Got to try these different areas. I mean, you've got little features in the water. You've got the rocks, the, the reeds. When you're going for the smaller stuff, it's definitely worth exploring. Although, as you can see, the fish that we're kind of having is out in the middle. So I'm thinking about taking that float off and... Um, Putting another bait in the middle, if I'm honest. Let's try and get the rod up. Feels like a nice fish. Definitely feels decent, this fish, that's for sure. Bigger than the other ones we've been catching. Might be a sort of two or three pound roach, that'd be nice. Come on. Oh, oh. Easy, easy as he comes under the rod tip. That's where the danger zone is. As you can see, I'm just backing it. That's a nice tench, that. That looks like a tench. That looks decent. Oh, look at that. Another big tench. Love it. Stunning tench. Nine pound, another one. So that's two nine pound tench we've had. I'm really happy with that. A big old tench then. So let's fire that out. Just get that out there. Very nice. 35 yards. Bang on the money. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this float rod to be honest. I'm thinking we turn that into a blowback rig. Let's try a bit of bread. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking bread. Why not? So we've got bread, worm, and corn out there. All the small sort of fish baits. Carp love all that as well. So you have got a chance of a carp. But when you're fishing like this, really, you want the small stuff. Put a bit of spot over there. Just... Uh, I've overcast it because it does ping back, so I need to go a little bit further on the cast because it punk sort of ping back then to about 25 yards, which is obviously no good to us. 32, that's not too bad. Try that again. Just going to lower the tension of that spot, see if that makes any difference. Hopefully it won't ping back, but if it does, we should be okay. There you go, it's pinging back, 32 yards again. No problem. As long as it's in the general vicinity, I mean, it doesn't really need to be spot on, I don't suppose, but it's just nice when it is. Again, just fire that out, some nice fish crashing in front of it. Oh! Press the wrong button, sorry guys, I was button mashing. <laughs> so I just feathered the cast out then with the spod and it didn't ping back. So you know when you're sort of on the PlayStation you cast and you press the R2 or the right trigger on Xbox? Just to sort of slow the cast down and it didn't ping back, so that's interesting. Let's try that again. See if that works again. Uh, rod one. I'll go a bit gentler this time. Like gentler. I'll go a bit, bit sort of uh, just feathering it. Yeah, it didn't ping back. Oh, it did ping back. There you go. 16 yards. That's no good to us. Right, let's give it a whack. Here we go. Rod three. 
number three is off. Let's do this. A little bit of spot always helps. Definitely sort of gets the fish spawning into your area. That's definitely where you want to be. This feels like a nice fish, this one. Might be one of them big tench. Come on. It's fighting like a beast. Come on, in you come. Yeah, he's giving up now. He's been overpowered by the bug. Come on. Love it. Not massive, but definitely a tench by the looks of it. We're definitely cleaning up on these tench. They really do love that sweet corn, that's for sure. Nice. £5.15 ounces, not massive, but there you have it guys that is how you catch the small fish from these type of lakes um i'd be interested to see your comments see where you guys are struggling what lakes you guys are struggling on for the smaller fish i do understand um people are having a bit of a hard time with the small fish so give me a comment let me know and let me try it see what see what i can come up with and see if we can work out what's going wrong or you know between us maybe we can catch a few nice fish these sort of smaller ones but thank you for tuning in guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe i hope you all have a great day take care peace